Welcome to our second Excel tutorial. Now that we've learned how to import data from various data sources in CSV and TXT format, let's do something with the data. And specifically, let's look at the distribution of wind speeds measured on the roof of Kai's for the year 2014. This is the kind of data that you would need if you were evaluating the performance of a wind turbine on the roof of the building. So I'm going to begin by defining the bins for the wind. So in a histogram, I, I want to know how many uh, occurrences of wind occurred between 0 and 2.5 and miles an hour, and then 2.5 to 5, and 5.5 and to 7, etc. So I'll set wind speeds of 0, and let's use 1 mile per hour bins. So 0, 1, and here's a cool Excel trick. I'm going to grab this lower box, and I'm just going to fill down, and I'll go out to uh, 25 miles an hour. And now I want to know the frequency, again, from 0 to 1, and then 1 to 2, and 2 to 3, etc. And to do that in Excel, I'm going to use the frequency function. Notice it, it guesses on, on what I was uh, going to use. And the frequency function needs um, two, two, part, two pieces of information. One, it needs the data array, and in this case it's going to be a, the array of wind speeds. And it needs the bin array, and the bin array is what I just created. So we're going to go do the data array. So I'm going to click on wind speed, shift, apple or alt, down arrow, selects the entire column. Notice I'm down at around 100,000 observations, so I'm going to scroll all the way back up the top. That's why we want a histogram. Adding up 100,000 observations by hand would be very tedious. Comma. Oh, come on, Excel. It's only 100,000 data points. Be nice to me today. And now I'm going to put in the bins column and I hit return. So there were uh, 19,908 observations of wind between 0 and 1 mile per hour, but notice I don't have any data for the other wind speeds. And that's because the frequency function is an array function, which means it outputs an array of uh, values, and we have to tell it um, where to put that array. So if I click on this frequency function, you see there it is. I'm going to highlight because I want an array of, of one <coughs> output per wind speed. I click on the end of the function, and now I hold down the Alt key and hit Return. And what that's done is it's pasted in this frequency function into all of these positions, and you'll notice that the uh, equation has curly brackets around it, and the curly brackets indicate that it is an array function. So let's do one more thing. I'm going to sum all of these. So that's equal sum. There's another nice Excel function. Come down. All right. 105,111 observations total. We can then get the fraction of each one by dividing it by the total. Another Excel trick is I want to fix the value of R36, so I'm going to use Alt-T on the Mac, which puts dollar signs in it and makes it an absolute address, and that would be an F4 on your PC. I double-click on the box to fill that down. Bring that up one. I don't need that. And I am done. And there we go. So I now have a distribution of wind speeds where this is the wind speed bins along the x-axis. This is the <coughs> fraction of the uh, 
total number of days. So we can see that about 19% of the time the wind was blowing between 0 and 1 mile per hour. 8% uh, of the time it was blowing between 1 and 2. And then interestingly, it increases in speed up to about 15% from 2 to 3 and decreases sort of exponentially from there. So this is an example of creating a histogram of wind speeds using the frequency function in Excel.